Hello, happy Wednesday! Where are we going? Beetlejuice! Beetlejuice! Yes. Beetlejuice! <laughs> so we are heading over to the Pantages and we'll see you inside. gang here and we're gonna come check out the venue but they've got a lot of fun things to do here like arcade games they have an escape room they have virtual reality they've got food drinks everything so I'm super excited to check it out with my family I think they're a little camera shy so they're just gonna walk away but I'm gonna take you along and let's go have some fun Pasadena Playhouse for opening night of stew and we're excited to see it. I don't really know that much about it but I know it was like a finalist for a Pulitzer Prize so I'm guessing it's gonna be amazing. I better not cry. Yeah I better not cry too. So yeah we'll take you along and yeah. Happy Monday from my car. I am in the Groves parking lot. Just kind of chilling for a little bit before I head over to Barnes & Noble for a book signing. Not sure if you remember 90s star Danny Tamborelli, but he and his wife co-wrote a book together. So I'm super excited to meet them and thank Danny for being a huge part of my childhood. I feel like this is the year of just healing my childhood and meeting so many cool people and apologies for the flashing lights. Not sure what's going on. But anyways, while I have you, I just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge, you know, the WGA and the SAG after strikes that have been going on. As you probably well know, uh, WGA has been on strike since the beginning of May. SAG after just joined the 14th of July. So so yeah, things are gonna probably look a little bit different in all my content. If you follow me here, you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, like all the things. So this is not about me at all. This is definitely about them and the fight for fair wages and protections. So I just wanted to say out loud in case you did follow me for, you know, any of like the film TV stuff that I love, like premieres and screenings and things like that is on pause until the strikes are over. And it's just, it's a personal decision for me I really support all of the writers and actors and you know my love of entertainment wouldn't be possible without them and so I stand in solidarity with them and I just wanted to take a moment to talk about that if you are interested in any of the news and updates on what's going on I highly recommend checking out WGA and SAG-AFTRA for official updates and news on what's going on I am not a union member so I am not an expert I am just a content creator that is sharing my love of entertainment so I just wanted to again just bring some attention to that while I have you but anyways that is it for now it has been quite a slow-ish week I guess typical to like what I normally do which is about I don't know three to five events a week which is 
a lot but yeah i've really been trying to take july a little bit slower because i've been feeling super super exhausted and i just don't feel like this is like sustainable especially while i work a full-time job in addition to all of these other things that i do so uh not complaining at all i'm very grateful for all the cool things that i get to do but yeah i just need to sort of like slow down take it a little bit easy so i'm glad tonight is a little more low-key with like the book signing but yeah we'll wrap this vlog up so let's head on to barnes and noble so I'm at Barnes and Noble and I found my friend Chelsea's game Bananya and so I am going to buy one and play with it when we get home. So the First Date Prophecy, their new book, um, Kate and Danny, you have written many books right Kate? And Danny, is this your first? Four. You've written four. I don't know what's many. I think that's a many. I think yeah. two is a couple. Four seems like a fair amount. Yeah. Yeah. Three that, more. You qualified that as less. Well, like many. and because we wrote this book together, I actually wrote half a book. <laughs> so I'm not there. She's four and a half. Five. Then we drafted, we've drafted the second. So we have drafted the second. So I'm, I'm almost out of four. I really love the ride of romantic comedies in general, and I think we have quite a lull of movies right now. So yeah. it's really nice to read a book, especially like oh, I read this in January, so it was like my holiday vacation read, even though I was on my couch. Um, <laughs> so I think also it's like serving the summer. I was very excited to be like, let's fall in love. But then I knew Danny, so it was kind of weird. Well, that's the thing. That's, that's the thing. I did. I did. Until certain parts where I just didn't. Think. I know. Well, we are. I did. We are not the same person, but it does the the the. It gets a little muddy, because there is a lot of our story in the book, and some of our friends know that story, and then they immerse themselves in the book. And then all of a sudden they're like, I, I didn't, I couldn't read that that one passage that I was thinking about you, and I, and I just, I had to pass. <laughs> Which I get, I get that. You know, I, I feel like I would probably be in the same boat. But yeah, we said we had to pro like because ideally, you know, at the beginning of it, like we would write at the same time. Mm -hmm. So like we'd sit down and you'd be writing Rudy and I'd be writing Lucy, um, and we really just like. Like a lot, I mean, a lot of the characters are based on realish uh -huh. people. You know, like I, I dated someone named Hashtag, unfortunately. Um, for me, <laughs> in the first chapter, she's on a date with someone who goes by Hashtag because it's his brand. Um, so I, I also did that. So I mean, most all of all most the anecdotes are written in their voice, so it alternates. So it starts with right. Her it's dual POV. So yeah, that's why I only wrote half a book. <laughs> I mean, we really knew. I mean, we didn't. I mean, that's not true. We didn't really know like exactly what the prophecy would mean for them. And we wrote the prophecy after we'd written um, a lot of it, but I, I don't know, we, kind of, we didn't really fight that much about it. We had moments where it'd be like, you don't understand what's in my head, I don't understand what's in yours, and like, use your words. And he like, doesn't like, it. like he'd rather walk around and think about it, and I'd rather like, endlessly try to talk about it. That's true of like everything in our relationship, probably. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I just need a moment. just made it home i have my book signed so it's called the first date prophecy and if you didn't really quite catch it from some of the interview clips i put in it's basically a fictionalized story based on kate and danny tamborelli's real love story so i'm really excited to dive into this and read it and yeah they signed my book which was really nice, so yay. And yeah, they were really nice and I loved it. So that was fun. And then afterwards I went to Levan cause they finally opened a location in LA and we got some cookies. We both got a chocolate chip walnut, which I already ate like 
half of it on the drive home and I just I haven't had this since like my last trip in New York which I think was like January 2020 before the pandemic and it's so good fresh so I'm so happy there's a location in LA now but anyways I hope you enjoyed following along on this week's adventures if you haven't already don't forget to like subscribe and comment and I will see you in the next one bye